We all have busy and hectic mornings sometimes, but it doesn't necessarily mean we need to be skipping on breakfast. So today we're gonna to be whipping up five different overnight oat recipes in different flavors and different combinations to keep it all very interesting. It takes just a few minutes to whip together the night before and then it's ready grab and go breakfast come morning. We did make all of these recipes with wholesome ingredients, but with things like nut butters and fruits and creamy plant-based yogurts, I feel like it kind of tastes like having dessert in a jar for breakfast. Let's get started. First up, the peanut butter and jelly version. This is an ode to my favorite breakfast when I was a kid, but this time made with super whole food ingredients. To a jar, we're gonna add half a cup of old fashioned rolled oats and a tablespoon of chia seeds, two tablespoons of peanut butter. We use the version made from 100% roasted peanuts with no other added ingredients. A quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon and half a cup of plant-based milk of your choice. Then give it a mix until it's all thoroughly combined. At the very end, we're gonna add in about half a cup of frozen berries and stir it until it's just combined. If you overmix, it does end up mushing the berries a fair bit. Ideally, you wanna put this jar in the fridge for at least two hours, if not overnight, just so it can thicken up really nicely, but through the beauty that is YouTube, we've already gone ahead and done that. So this here is ready to eat out of the jar, grab it and go. But if you do have an extra one or two minutes in the morning, we're gonna give you some topping ideas just to jazz it up a little bit more. For the optional toppings, here I've added a couple heaping tablespoons of a plant-based yogurt. Here we used soy yogurt and some fruits of your choice. Here we topped it with some fresh berries, or you could use some stewed frozen berries if you'd prefer. And finally, some chopped toasted peanuts for a bit of crunch. This recipe is loaded up on the fiber, both soluble and insoluble types. So it helps to keep us fuller for longer, and it helps to make sure we maintain regular bowel movements. If you've ever been a fan of the peanut butter and jelly combination, then this is a classic one to start with. Chocolate is kind of my kryptonite, so if a recipe can be made wholesome with chocolate in it, you can sign me up. And this recipe kind of reminds me of Ferrero Rocher's with its hazelnut chocolatiness. So to a jar, we're gonna add half a cup of old-fashioned rolled oats, a tablespoon of ground flax seeds, which is a source of omega-3 fats, a tablespoon of cocoa or cacao powder, a little sprinkle of salt if you'd like. It just helps to bring out that chocolatey taste a bit more. And then give it a stir at this point because we don't want the cocoa powder to clump when we add in the liquids a bit later. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of hazelnut butter, which is what makes it taste a bit like Nutella to me. You can sub it for another nut or seed butter if you'd like. Then we're gonna add in about half a cup of plant-based milk. If you're feeling like making it a little extra decadent, you can even add in a little spoonful of some dairy-free dark chocolate chunks. Give it a stir, screw on the lid, pop it in the fridge overnight. Come morning, it's ready to eat as is. If you've got some time, maybe top it with some yogurt. Here we're using some coconut yogurt, some fresh or stewed frozen fruit like strawberries works really well with the chocolate. And if you're a nut butter fanatic like I am, you can drizzle some on top too, maybe some hemp seeds, call it a day. When Robin tried this one, he said it was like eating dessert for breakfast, and that is a win in my books. I think if you're a chocolate lover, it's safe to say you're gonna love this one. For this next recipe, we're changing things up in a couple of ways. For one, we're using couscous in place of the oats. Couscous actually being a type of pasta made from durum wheat. And by popular request, this is a savory version for those who prefer it over the sweet variety. So to begin, we're gonna measure out a quarter of a cup of couscous and add it to a jar, along with two tablespoons of tahini, which is a sesame seed paste. We have a recipe on how to make tahini yourself at home if you'd like, so I'm gonna leave that link for you in the description box. And for its beautiful color and anti-inflammatory properties, we're adding a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder, three quarters of a cup of plant-based milk, and about half of a teaspoon of fresh orange zest. Then give it a mix, plop on the lid, and pop it in the fridge. The next morning, give it a stir, and although the base itself is savory, you can give it a touch of sweet by topping it with some pomegranate seeds, which is one of my absolute favorite fruits. You can also top it with some crushed pistachios, some roasted coconut flakes. Just for presentation purposes, we also garnished it with a bit more orange zest and some mint leaves. This breakfast idea kind of reminds me of these Middle Eastern desserts I grew up enjoying as a kid with the tahini and the pomegranate seeds and the pistachios. It's just something different to try if you're looking to change up what you're having in the morning and if you don't like your breakfasts too sweet. 
Believe it or not, I never really liked overnight oats, but this here recipe is the one that converted me into loving the whole concept. So to a jar, we're gonna add half a cup of rolled oats, a tablespoon of ground flax seeds, which is loaded on healthy fats and fiber, two tablespoons of almond butter. We do have a recipe for how to make your own almond butter at home if you'd like, link is in the description, plus a tablespoon of chopped dairy-free dark chocolate. Add to this a half a cup of plant-based milk of your choosing and give it a stir. Once it's thickened up overnight, we're then gonna top it with some banana coins, maybe whatever other fruits you enjoy. I love it with some raspberries. And for some crunch, I added some chopped roasted almonds and a bit of chocolate shavings, honestly, just for presentation. <laughs> it's thick, it's creamy, it's so decadent. I love the taste and mouthfeel of this one. Highly recommend starting with this recipe if you're a newbie to the world of overnight oats. For the last recipe, we're combining the comfort of oats with the flavors and feel of the tropics. By now, you know the drill. Add half a cup of old-fashioned rolled oats to a jar. We're gonna add a tablespoon of chia seeds for the extra fiber. We're gonna add about half of a fresh mango that's been cut up. Alternatively, you can use three quarters of a cup of frozen mango here. I'm adding in a tablespoon of almond butter, half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and half a cup of plant-based milk. Coconut milk from a carton works especially well for this recipe if you've got it. Then stir it, let it thicken up overnight, and in the morning, you're ready to take this with you on the road. If you've got time, you can top it with things like coconut yogurt, some fresh fruit, some toasted coconut flakes, and that's it. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere like we are, it is starting to get cold outside, but if you have the taste of the tropics in your breakfast, I feel like that's a breakfast worth waking up for. I hope that this video gave you some new wholesome breakfast ideas that you can add to your arsenal, especially if you're somebody who feels like, I just don't have time to make breakfast in the morning or I don't have the patience for it. Well, now you know it can take just a couple minutes the night before and then it's grab and go in the morning. As always, the full breakdown to all of the recipes can be found on the blog along with some tantalizing pictures. Those links are in the description box below. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, it always means a lot when you give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching Pickle Flame signing off and we'll see you in the next video.